morning everybody. I've completed a journal to share with you guys today. This is a Victorian floral. It measures five and a half by about seven and a quarter and it's got a two inch spine with two signatures. Um, this has been covered with fabric um, and then you can see I've layered up lots of bits of laces here. I've used one of the Tim Holtz uh, frames and also one of the old um, photo cards from Tim, Tim Holtz as well. So there's lots of bits of vintage lace that I've layered within this and then also that's Tim Holtz fabric and I've done like a snippet um, band that goes around the journal. It's been sewn in with a five hole pamphlet stitch. And then we'll go inside. And then this is the cover here. You can see I've got some, um, well I've got these two flips with tags. And these have been backed with tea dyed paper. Um, this is another kind of a stash busting journal because I've used a lot of different um, digitals that I've had um, within it. So I've got two flips there with two tags. And then this is a double pocket on the cover. And I just add a little journal card there that I stamped. I've stamped on some muslin, added some more trim, a little safety pin with a couple of glass beads. And then over here I've created a uh, fabric pocket and then just added little bits of scrap uh, fabrics from my stash onto that little journal card and that's tucked in. And then here I'm just going to flip out and then this is also a tuck spot back here. A little notebook with some extra bits of uh, tea dyed paper and another little journal card that's been added to this. This is a book page pocket that's been decoupaged and some lace um, with this napkin that was gifted to me. Another little journal card here with some extra bit of some, uh, lace and then another little label. This is avocado dyed paper. I've done some stamping. A lot of stitching with a lot of threads that I've left hanging out. If you don't like those, you could always snip them off. Another old uh, book page and a couple of tags and a journal card there. And then this is an old mailer and then I've added the 1906 ledger there with a large tag inside that and that flips over. This is a doily that I've just inked up um, or sprayed with some of the uh, glimmer mist that I've made. Little uh, tab here with a bit of lace and a little key on a bulb pen. Edith Holden page. And then here is just a little tiny envelope that's tucked in behind there. And then I just stamp that in another little tag. Stenciling. Some more tea dye paper. Another, um, I think this was a needle. Oh, I can't, uh, yeah, an embroidery book, that's what that was. Some punching on that one, more st uh, stenciling. And then here is another mailer that I've made a journal card for. A little snippet tab. A lot of stitching. And then this is uh, an extra bit of that ledger from, I think it's 1906, just included that, that paper's really nice. And then you've also got a pocket here, a pocket here, 
pocket there and a pocket. So you've got one, two, three, four, five pockets on this page. I just added little bits of ephemera there. I don't know off the top of my head how many page, uh, pages are in this, but it is a large journal. Another uh, pocket there and a pocket here as well. Some writing space there and this is the other side of the mailer. Uh, this is an altered playing card that I've backed with some avocado dyed uh, paper. Just added some old lace there. And then this is the second signature. Love that image. Um, here I've just added a little um, envelope that I've mod podge, so it's it's got some decoupage on there. And then this is just a little pocket that I made with using one of the doilies, another uh, fabric snippet tab. More stamping and just various um, journal cards from my stash and little tags and it's just some extra paper that I had left over. <coughs> Tiny little tag of stamped, a little fabric po pocket there. And then this is another. Uh, tag I've made using various things from my stash that were left over. And then this is the little um, charms that I made. The little embellishment, the bulb, and some extra uh, ruffled up fabric there. A little pocket on this one. Love that image. So as you can see, it's a lot of florals and uh, a few butterflies and bees scattered throughout as well. Now this one is a um, just a double tag. I won't take that off. But you can open it up and that's a double tag there for extra secret writing. And again that's some more of the old ledger. Another vintage book page. Um, and this was one of the things that was gifted to me. Um, so I've included that, just beautiful. And that's just full of lots of different cards. Stitching, stenciling, another fabric um, snippet tab, another old book page, I love those. <coughs> And here is the slotted stitch die, and I've just filled that with lots of little uh, journaling cards and a tag. And then here, I've just clipped that together. This was just an extra bit of um, paper that I had, so I've stenciled on the back, so you get some more writing there. And that's in that little tuck spot. The tiny paper clip holding that together, and a little charm. And then inside I have made that journal card and I've stamped and made by the Firefly Studio. And then I did some stenciling back here as well. Another little book page pocket with another journal card that's been back, so we've got a lot of writing space. Uh, belly band here, and then this is a pocket that I made using a um, piece of the piano roll paper, and then I lined it with some digital, and then added an old button and some fabric. So that's a little floating pocket that can be moved throughout the journal. Another little scrappy notepad and a decoupaged uh, book page pocket here with some fabric snippet. And then this is one of the 
um, postcards that I recently did a tutorial on. That's been included. Some more stamping. Avocado dyed. I love the color how that's come out. And then uh, here, another little journal card. And then on the back here, I've got another large pocket there that I've just tucked in a journal card. So there it is, guys. The closure is uh, Sorry Silk. Oops, let me get that put in a little bit further. And um, this is going for, shop, uh, for sale in my shop, so if you are interested, you can hop over to my um, shop and take a look. So thank you so much for joining me today, guys, and I'll be back very soon.